People often ask me the same question, which is, "What's it like in space?" Fantasyland, the happiest kingdom of them all. I'd like to help you understand why it's a place that is magic. Magic. The realization that humanity is able to send things to that that dot there in the sky. It's it's I don't know. It's it's a magical feeling. It really was a, a magical, magical day. And the mission and the magic begin. 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 Welcome to Story Time from Space. My favorite part about living up there was the flying. The flying. The flying. I loved it. It was like being Peter Pan. Everybody is a superhero. You're not floating. You're flying. So the space station is the place where mission and magic come together. Here's the world of imagination, hopes, and dreams. Magic and make-believe are reborn, and fairy tales come true. Dedicated to the young and the young in heart, to those who believe that when you wish upon a star, your dreams do come true. Some quick programming. The views of our blue marble in the blackness of space now capturing the imagination. The imagination now capturing the imagination of a new generation. Fantasy land. Just capture my imagination every time. I mean, again, this is why we're doing this. All these people who uh, feel captivated. Inspires and excites people to dream and wonder. Have big dreams. Still having a hard time believing this is real. When the sim begins, the mission is played out as if for real, following a script created by the simulation team. The simulations were so real that no controller could discern the difference between the training and the real mission. It almost, you know, trick us. And say that we're in the simulator and it wasn't real. We feel like they're real, and that becomes the only reality. You guys are dummies, it's not even hard. Here's main engine cutoff, you can see a stopwatch floating by and uh, flashes out the window are the 800 pound reaction control jets. The flashing that you see is from the energized plasma in the overhead windows, the light reflecting off our suits and helmets. And Rick's got the camera and that's what it looked like out the overhead window. It's just awesome. That's not the tail of the orbiter. And you see the pink glow outside the windows. The flash is caused by the attitude control jets uh, firing. You'll see a scene looking back aft on this 25 mile trailing plume of fire as we come flying into the atmosphere. Maneuvered the orbiter to several different attitudes. We reconverted the laboratory back to a spaceship and here we are uh, on entry day uh, Mach 17, 200,000 feet. You can see the uh, flames out the front window. We're in the middle of a fireball during re-entry. I wish I could describe to you what I'm seeing out my window here, but as you can see that burnt orange down the, filling up the window, and then you see a very bright white light there just to the right. That's actually a blue, thin blue band caused by sunrise. Looking out the pilot's window here, we had a camcorder. This is as we're going into our thermal phase, which is our glow phase, or the area that we go through our thermal heating. The reflections you see off our backs, that's a picture of John there, and I'm on his right side. That's uh, what we call, sometimes incorrectly, the plasma or the fire spikes that you see coming over top of through the payload bay windows, or through the overhead windows. The glow is uh, some beautiful colors, and you can see we're just about through it.
This is what I saw from my seat with camcorder recording, uh, both over the over my head up at the upper window, and what you see there is the plasma ionization on entry. And you can also tell by looking at the windows around the John and Don, around the front there, the, the plasma glow. And you can see the plasma behind us as we uh, stream through the atmosphere, converting that energy back into heat. The view out the overhead window as we were re-entering the atmosphere and you can see the red light, the, uh, the plasma is coming off the tail of the orbiter as we uh, recontact the atmosphere. The entry in many ways is uh, even more dramatic. And up in Mach 24 range, and here you see the plasma. You are dumb. It's not hard. Not everybody can be a robot polish shop. 